Greetings, everyone. This is Ashton with MuseThemes.com. We've got a cool new widget for you today called our Add to Calendar button. It's simple in nature, but pretty powerful. It allows the ability for users to add an event to various calendars directly from your Muse webpage. We've included a bunch of supported calendars, as you can see when I hover over the button. We get a drop-down of various options that all lead to their respective platforms. Google Calendar, for example, I can click to it and instantly get a new tab with all the information all ready to go. And I can customize it if I desire. And then I can simply click Save to add to my calendar. And all the events that are added are totally custom and can be set up right in the widget itself. So let's just jump right into Muse and take a closer look. I'm just working with a blank page for right now, but I'll go ahead and grab the widget out of my library and drop it straight onto the page. Now this widget component that you're going to get here is your actual button, so it needs to be placed on the page accordingly. You can place it anywhere you want, and you can even pin it anywhere on the page if you like as well. But let's give the page a preview though, before we even do anything. And as you can see, we already get a functioning button, and I can hover, revealing our various calendar options. And by default, all of the ones we've included in the widget will be turned on, but you can always disable any that you don't want inside the settings panel. So let's now jump into that settings panel and check out our event setup. In the panel, first and foremost, you can enter your text here as you'd like it to appear on your button. And then the checkboxes for the various calendar options. You can leave them all or just select the ones that you want. And our first dropdown is event setup. And this is where you're going to determine what shows up in the user's calendars. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. You've got your event title, description, location, all that jazz. But I will note to make sure to use the 24-hour time format when setting the hour for the event. So 18 would be 6 p.m. and so forth. So let me just add some basic information here. I'll add a title. We'll make it a movie premiere. And just a quick description. And we can put Los Angeles, California for the location. And we'll just go ahead and leave the dates alone for now because you get the idea. So our second and third dropdowns include our button styling and our dropdown styling. Now again, mostly self-explanatory stuff, but let's take a quick peek. You've got your text settings, button sizing, color settings. And you can create just a typical button or a border button, which would just be a transparent button with just the text and a border visible. And for that, we just need to set the button opacity to zero and the border width to one or higher. And if we do that, we are going to need to change the text color to something dark so that it'll be visible on the white background. We also have the button radius value here, which would enable you to create a round button. However, it's not really advised. Since this button involves a dropdown, a round button doesn't typically work very well aesthetically with it, but the option is there if you choose to use it. And lastly, in drop-down styling, almost identical to the last section. However, you may notice that there is a button height setting, but no button width setting in this section, unlike the last section, which had both. Whatever button width you set for the main button in the above section will automatically be reflected for the drop-down as well. So let's give it one final preview. And there we go. We now have our transparent button our working drop-down on Hover, and we can click to add it to our Google Calendar, and voila! Our title is pre-populated, showing the correct dates, location, and we are ready to rock and roll. So thanks again as always for watching, and don't hesitate to hit us up with any questions or issues. Have a wonderful day.